you smile when you see him and think he's slightly crazy. Hey, horny! <laughs> no, that's nature. Love is nature. Horny is nature. So is sex. He's always just in a happy mood and always brings a positive out of people. Hey! <laughs> He's been here forever, as far as I'm concerned. Do you think this is normal behavior? This is normal behavior. Yeah? It's peace. How many people have got that you've been spoken to before? Danny always puts a smile on my face because he always advocates for peace. And love. Well, look, listen, this is our All right. last warning. All right. Okay? All, All right. right. We'll take this stuff off. No, 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 no. You, you cannot take it off. What are we going to do with the dog? Where's he going? No, I, I, I don't trust my dog to anyone. Why are you making things so difficult? I'm not making things difficult. You are She's 14 years old. I, I had her for 13 and a half years. And I'm, I'm alive today is because of Smarty. In 2013, I was beaten up. I, I suffer from post-traumatic stress. It's a permanent thing, you know. Come on. She's so calm. She's my medication, my, my companion. That's enough, Smarty, no more. <laughs> this is the town centre. And not long ago, they, 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 they redo this again. They chop down all the trees. And the trees at an evening time used to a lot of Cherokees here. But now, they're all gone. That's where I live. This is Stratfield. And that's the railway station where I, every morning, I take off from here to go to places with my sandwich board. <laughs> By going out, you know, I learned a lot. Everyone is my teacher, and, and it, it learned so much from them. The main thing about a sandwich board, you know, Anyone can do it. It's a simple message. And my message is always, you know, with a big smile, peace be with you. I swear there's more than one of him. <laughs> I think there's about 10 of him. Everywhere you go, there's someone who looks like that with that sign. I mean, he travels a lot, that guy. He makes people think. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, stop in the everyday bland, complacent routine, you know? That's what he does. That was the, the sandwich board. Be smart. People can change. Tony, you, C, reverse A, and possibly T. And on top is, is people can change. Tony, you. I heard someone calling me, Danny, may I take a picture with you? When I look around, it's Turnbull. Then we came to talk to me. The front was the equal marriage one, the back was that sign, and that was taken by News Limited. And that's how the sign went viral in, in Sydney and throughout the world. And one week later, I was booked by the police, and I had a fine for $500 for displaying with an offensive sign. And people say, hey, Danny, you, you done nothing wrong. That's art. It's the best thing you ever did. Maybe I should say from the beginning, you know, I'm Chinese. I can't spell. See, either you can or you can't, right? 
A lot of people took pictures, they realized I've been fine. And later they, they rang me. I said, look, we, we put your story in a go, go fund you one. And within 56 minutes, we collected over $600. And then I say, give it the charity. I don't want it. I'll fight it in court. Hi, how are you? Good, Good to mate. see you. Right, well, we're going to go in. Okay, and you're going to pet Smarty? It's been a pleasure to represent Danny because what he just said was probably the right thing and what everybody was thinking at the time. Okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Happy morning. Happy morning. Thank you. Thank you. Protesting we were offensive sign and fine me $500. What a bloody bullshit, man. Isn't it funny, you know? The following Monday, right, Turnbull declared a challenge on Tony Abbott. Danny, uh, your matters been adjourned. They've probably read Lady Shatley's Lover and, and, and understand that we're not using this word as an offensive way. We're using it to convey a message, our angst about uh, the, what Tony Abbott was saying at that, at that point in time. Whoever was taking offence weren't taking offence on behalf of women. They were taking offence on the fact that it was directed at Tony Abbott. As a woman, I'm not offended by him putting that on there. No. I don't see that he's draw using the word cunt in that respect. He's just got the A upside down. I wish Danny was still in politics because he's able to answer Trump with language that he understands, really basic, banal stuff, but with Danny's own wonderful twist. We are at the M Mardi Gras Fair. I'm here today because it's about time we have marriage equality. It's one love, one heart, one race, the human race. I'm not worthy. Oh, you're worthy, brother. <laughs> I'm not quite the full deck. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so today when I see people, it really inspire me to keep on going and stand up for what you believe in. You don't wait enough for or hope. You must take action, and action is from the heart. The sandwich board you know, is it, it, the, the first in you know, a commercial or political message when people do it, right? And at the end, you don't care what people say, you just keep on doing it. And one day they realize, shit, he's not that crazy after all. <laughs> you must. Stand up for something when you're able to. It's no point looking back later and saying, I wish I did it. It's too bloody late, Mike. <laughs> we are all part of it, you know. The struggle, just think the struggle other people did for us, you know, to get us this far. Either you stand up or you be buried, <laughs> right? <laughs> How is it? How are you? Eh? Good, thanks. Um, we have a hearing date when we'll, we will be fighting the case to allow you to continue what you're doing. You know, you've never harmed anybody, yeah. never threatened anybody. You're just conveying a political message in the way that you you feel would capture your audience. Okay? But, but the, you know, the other day, you know, some, uh, one woman sent me one photo. Mm. Uh, he, she read on a T-shirt, fuck you, Tony Abbott. So we're hearing about Tony Abbott isn't very intellectual. At least uh, Danny's was funny and clever. That's all it was. And it conveyed the message and people got it. People send me, you know, in it, Northern Territory. Yeah. They advertise it, you know. Exactly, uh, I've got that, yeah, I've got yes, that, yeah. If a newspaper can yeah. use these words, if politicians can say it, so can Danny Lee. <laughs> You're such a cunt. <laughs> you can shock people with other words using them very cleverly. And I think he's done that, though, with that, because he hasn't actually used them. I thought it was an absolutely ridiculous waste of our taxpayers' time taking Danny to court over a word. I was brought up in a, um, by my grandma. She's a very pious Christian, always turned the other cheek. I'm quite sure God is a woman. If it's a man, you know, you're bloody destroyed the whole bloody world. Are you worried that they might give you, uh, get you in trouble with that today? What was wrong with this one? That's the most beautiful thing. That's where I come from. That's my, my grandma, my mother, my daughter, my boy have it, you know. 
can now tell them you got something offensive. It's still a bloody man's world. So I've been in Australia 54 years, and when I see what's happening, you know, it saddens me. There, there are people in you know, there, they want to kill me and my dog. And, and, and there are people. It's all good when you got words like that on you. What, what's that with that? Let me tell you, in another country... Yeah, in look. Australia, you up, but the police won't let me. Yeah, go and, go and get a police, brother. Yeah, I will. I don't, don't you know simple English? What's yeah. wrong with the word? Who Who would say I can't say? The children. Who? What about children? Children, if children can read, they're not bloody better. Go, go. Oh, well, no, you're not some stupid little old maggot. Yeah, you see, you see the way you bloody call me? Oh, yeah, 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 pick on someone your bloody size, you, right, right, you bugger, you. I here. Go this one, you know, you know why I have to defend myself? Because you hear nobody. I have to talk like that. Because anyone read, this is art. Yeah, sister. Can I come in? Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, you know, when I wear this, you know, only a few people in interested. But then they, they didn't realize I'll, I'll be making history for them. On and on, you know, I, it was really exhausting. People don't care unless it happened to them. You know. I just say, if I can do it, you, know, you can do it too. Don't say you can't. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Uh, smile for peace. I'll always smile. Oh. Let's go to court, mate. I'm going to. Let's go I'll, in, I'll mate. take this out first. Yeah. Good luck. It's all right. I think the acquittal of Danny Lynn show that we're Australian and whether we can have a joke at ourselves and whether right. politicians are a protected species. It's also proved that Danny was right, Tony didn't change. <laughs> <laughs> and, and look, this is a man who didn't believe in climate change, how could we expect it to ever change? And look, I think um, this is a fabulous result. I, I feel good here, at least I try to do something for Australia. The message of, of this case is to encourage protest, and I hope this doesn't dissuade anybody from getting their message across. Would you do it again if you had the chance? Yeah, I'll do it, because <laughs> that, that, that's what it is. It's for you, my friend. We are all Aussie, yeah. right? Thank you. Congratulations. All right, thank well you. Done. Thank you very much. Yeah.